Hello, this is Blue Diamond Coasters, and we are currently in the middle of the water. Pass with this guy. And. Okay, I wasn't speeding. And we are currently on our way to Bush Gardens, Virginia to get our first rides on Pantheon. Uh, and I say we because behind the camera here is Sean, aka East Coaster Fan. Hello. I bring him along. We're actually going to be doing two days at Bush. We decided to get a hotel room and spend the nights. So we can get two days and we can get as many rides on Pantheon as we can and just also, you know, explore the rest of the park. I've been to Bush Gardens before. Uh, I know this is your favorite park pretty much all of all time. Yep, by far, no question. I've been coming here almost every year since, well, for the longest time, uh, I've been coming here e every summer since 2009. The last time I was here was in 2019. The last time I was here was in fall 2020. It was like a really rainy day because like a hurricane passing through. It was like a dead day at the park. And Pantheon was sitting there. It wasn't open, and I bought a fun card thinking I'm gonna go back to Bush Gardens next year, 2021, to ride Pantheon. It never opened, I never went, uh, and now this year they're opening. Thankfully, Bush was doing a promotion where if you had bought a fun card after they announced Pantheon but expired before March when it opened, they would be able to get you a free ticket. So I got a free ticket for one of the days that I'm gonna be here, so. Hopefully I'll be able to use it. Last night when I tried to print it, it gave me a 404 error and I called Bush Gardens. They said, go to guest services and they'll take care of it. So if something happens and I don't get that free ticket, this might become my worst favorite park of all time. So uh, really looking forward to Pantheon. It's been built up for the past few years. Velocicoaster is my favorite coaster of all time. And this is basically Velocicoaster if you replace the theming with backwards. So, looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to getting on Alpengeist because that's probably my most looking forward to re-ride. Because the one ride I got on it, it didn't really wow me a whole lot. I want to get some more rides on that. And, you know, just also have a general great time at Busch Gardens. Uh, anything you want to add, Sean? Just, I mean, you already said pretty much. Oh well, yeah, definitely excited to uh, ride Pantheon for the first time and give some other rides a shot that I haven't done in a while, especially now that I've been uh, getting more rides on the coasters at Hershey and Great Adventure. Uh, for today, at least, there's a uh, St. Patrick's Day event going on, yeah, so they might the have some special things, at least today. Um, and one of those things, I've seen it before plenty of times, but it's going to be your first time seeing Celtic Fire, yeah, which never is one of my all-time favorite amusement park shows. Yeah, today is the last day of their St. Patrick's Day celebration. So, of course, I can't wait to ride Verbolton's re-theme to the Disney Channel classic, Luck of the Irish. I mean, Luck of the Irish was shot at Lagoon, so it makes sense. The land to your fathers is an eerie boil. It's era. My father's from Cleveland. Looks like it's about time we're gonna pull a Loch Ness Monster and dive into the tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the, through the Chesapeake tunnel. Bay. <laughs> yeah. So, with that out of the way, we'll see you all once we get into the park. And there she is. Velocicoaster 2, Italian Boogaloo. waiting in the line for it to open. It's been a, about 20 minutes or so. Hopefully this will, you know, open on time. 
We saw test runs earlier. We saw like the super fast test run where it like shot over the top and probably gave like negative two Gs. And we saw the one where it like almost stalled at the top. So it's been a little bit, uh, we've gotten three rides. We wait for the back one, we went back and waited for the front. Unfortunately, when we were waiting for the front, there was a delay for weather. Soon went back up and we just got off our third ride in the back. Holy crap, that was insane. It's, I tried to not always compare it to Velocicoaster because that's my number one and I've been on that a lot, but this comes close and the airtime on the kind of backwards hill is absolutely incredible. This is definitely the best ride in the park. It's probably gonna, it might break my top five, honestly. It's very, at least very close to top five. Uh, Sean, anything you wanna add? Just Oh, I love this ride. Uh, and all the rides kept getting better as we went on. I'd say getting used to the elements. I do think the back is better. I originally thought Especially, the front. Yeah. But I don't, I can't even explain it, but when you're going backwards to that airtime hill on the back, you get more airtime. Yeah. Best, again, I have no clue. Plus, you get the best, uh, best time on like the, the spike, spike and the best drop overall. So this is a very, uh, very great coaster. It is definitely in my top ten as well. For sure. So we'll probably come back later, try to get a night ride on this. But we're actually probably gonna go get some lunch because I am starving. Me too. We are settled down at Marco Polo's Marketplace. This is the food we got. I'm in the middle of eating, but I got spaghetti. I also mozzarella sticks. You got the pizza and knots. Pizza time. We're not doing that again. Okay, then knots. Knots Berry Farm. Boom. Not. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Knots. <laughs> There's three knots. 300 feet. Knots Giga confirmed. All right. So we got food at Marco Polo's. We got a pizza. Pretty good. I also picked up this cup which it looks a lot like the one I got a few years ago when I was here for 2020 because it also has Pantheon on it. But we're heading into the Ireland section to see their Celtic Fire show. Looking forward to it because this man has been hyping it up a lot for me. I love this show. It better be, he said it was like one of the best theme park shows. And I'm like, come on, Multivision 3D and Phantasmic exists. What makes it great, and you'll see, 
not not gonna give any spoilers away, but like they they do like so much. They like have so much fun with the crowd. Yeah. The crowd always has such a fun time with the show. <laughs> Okay, just got a Celtic Fire. I know you love that show. Celtic Fire is awesome. I, it's one of my all-time favorite amusement park shows. Didn't disappoint at all. I think it was all right. Pretty good. Good dancing, all that stuff. Uh, we're currently waiting for Finnegan's Fire. Fl Finnegan's Flyers, and that's actually my first SNS Screaming Swing that I've ever been on. So, looking forward to it. It's also getting a pretty good view of Griffin with its new paint job. Now we saw it running a test train earlier, but it's not supposed to be open until I think next weekend. So maybe something lucky happens, it opens up tomorrow or maybe even today. Also looking forward to getting back on Alpengeist. I only got on one ride on it and I really want to get more rides on it. So it's like a really good paint job. I actually really like this one. Okay, so this happened. Uh, actually, pretty good things. I went over to the guest services to ask them about that free ticket I should have gotten. And I was, as I was you know, waiting in line at guest services, I'm like, all right, let me pull up the email to show them. And I went to email, I clicked the go to the ticket link, and instead of a 404 error, it actually took me to a website to get the free ticket. So, solved that problem without even having to deal with them. Uh, also, by the way, my thoughts on Finnegan's Flyer, uh, pretty good, but... I think I realized that those type of rides just give me a little bit of like a mild motion sickness, so that's why I tend to avoid them. You know, if I had a nickel for every ride in the Ireland section that has given me motion sickness, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? <laughs> I miss the loop. <laughs> anyway, speaking of those loops, uh, we just rode Loch Ness front row. Picking my cup. That was pretty fun. Uh, it's still a bit rough because it's an arrow, of course it is, but it's still a fun ride. There's a good airtime pop right there, and these loops are just iconic and also just fun to ride. So I think next we're gonna head over to Xamini. Uh, I guess ride Verbolton because it's over there. I don't know, grab a pretzel. There's some really good pretzels over in Germany. It's so good. I mean, I can't say it's the best pretzels at an amusement park because there are Annie Ann's at Universal. Uh, slight detour, we decided to go into Germany proper. I think this is all like repainted like within the past yeah, few I years. I don't know if it's for uh, just the St. Patrick's Day festival or if this is permanent. I think it is permanent. I don't think, I don't know why they would repaint entire buildings just for a festival. Or especially for Ger uh, Germany, not even Ireland. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good, actually. I kind of like it. it. Gives a bit more color to it. Might not be realistic to Germany, but hey. It's hey, look at what I found. I found a pot of gold. I found the pot of gold. Where is the Lucky Charms? Ah, 
So we just got one ride on Alpen Geist in the back row. Pretty fun, although a bit head -bangy and I still prefer a Great Bear as my favorite invert. Uh, then we were about to go for like the second row and it actually went down. Uh, don't know why, just maintenance issue I guess. And they just sent a test train, but I think we're actually going to be heading over to Invader. I've only gotten one ride on it in the front row, and actually I want to try the back row this time, see if it gets a better ride. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the O Canada ride at Epcot starring Martin Short. How, how do I get out of here? Because I have a fast pass for Soren. Hate to miss it. Oh, yeah, anyway, we roll rolled for Bolton, or huh, we rolled in, uh, Invader. Uh, it's alright. You know, it's interesting that it opened the same year as Mystic Timbers, one of the best GCIs, and opened the year before Oscar's Wacky Taxi, one of the best wooden family coasters. I think Busch Gardens Williamsburg got the short end of the stick in terms of GCIs and of wooden family coasters. So we're here in Verbolton's station with the iconic voice, and for once they're actually dual loading. I don't think I've ever actually seen them use both I don't know, I've, stations. I've seen it before. It's, I don't think it's as uncommon as you think. Um, especially maybe, during just the like, maybe just go during like slow days, but I guess that means Verbolton 1, King to Ka 0. The Atlantis you have escaped to the forest. Please lift up on your safety harness and exit carefully to your left and enjoy the rest of your day at Bush Gardens. I'll see you soon! We're actually getting the wolf crossing train. So we decided to stop over here a bit, kind of behind the Revolton building. I actually can hear it from here. And uh, you know what? I think let's go ride Dragon Fire. Oh. You know, normally I do the bit where I like run into the wall and smack my face against it, but it's actually open. Perhaps we'll someday see a 300 foot giga shuttle coaster in here. I'll definitely have to like widen this whole area out though and make it look a bit better. So by the way, I forgot to update while I was over there. Uh, I rolled for Bolton twice, it was fun as always. I yelled Lumos Salem when we dropped because it's like Hagrid's. Uh, anyway, we're over in Italy, and pretty much good, or Festa Italia, I should say. Pretty much gonna spend the last bit of the night here rewriting Pantheon, but first, let's go on the Wings of Apollo. Got a big crowd for uh, Apollo, right, Shaw? Definitely, it's packed. Ooh, this is a long wait. Might not only get able to get one ride on this thing. All right, got two rides on Apollo. Almost back to back because there was nobody in the station. Once in the front, once in the back. Uh, we're probably gonna skip Tempesto for today. Uh, I think there's a new greatest daredevil on Earth. How did you just do that? I'm a really good lawyer. But now we're pretty much just gonna spend the rest of the day over at Pantheon.
Okay, so it's been an interesting couple at past hour. So I was able to get two more rides on Pantheon, but after the second one, I felt something a bit down here. And by the time I got off the platform, I started to really feel something. And so I threw up in the trash can. I then like sat down for a bit, took some had some water, settled down for a bit, let it pass through, and I was able to get the last ride of the night. So I actually ran to a bunch of other enthusiasts. I actually might see a couple of them tomorrow if they're still here. But I was able to get last ride of the night. That was a really great night ride. Uh, Sean, what do you think? I know you had some. Yeah, thoughts. that was a that was a fantastic night ride. Uh, it was like you couldn't see anything out there, and then when when there were lights, the lights were like shining at you almost. Mm -hmm. So you were he heading towards the light, you couldn't see, then you plunged back into darkness. That is one of the best night rides I've ever done. And it's definitely the best night ride in this park, I think. Oh yeah, well actually, the thing is, this is probably the first night ride I've ever gotten at Busch Gardens because most of the times when I'm here, I'm either leaving early because I am going to UD playing William & Mary or a hotel to go there, or I have to get home and it's a four hour drive. Since today we're staying at a hotel, I can actually stay till past park close. So I can finally get a night ride. Maybe tomorrow I get a, I don't know if I want to do Pantheon night ride again. We'll have to see. Maybe just cause you know, I want to change it up a bit. Yeah. Got the weird tree, clover, butterfly thing. Anyway, I guess, this concludes day one of two for a Bush Gardens trip, and I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Or later, for you guys, it'll be maybe in a week or so, depending on how busy I am when I edit these. See you then. Next time on Blue Diamond Coasters. Fortunately, my vertebrae snap like a twig, or I'd get up. But uh, the doctor should be here shortly, and then we'll continue on with our adventure. <laughs>